Hi guys, I'm Chi. Hope you're all doing well today. A Kenyan comedian by name Elsa Majimbo has said something that didn't go well with a lot of Africans and even her country's men. Hmm. You'll be wondering, what is this very thing that she said? <laughs> it's all about money. Eh? Uh, she detests beggars. Beggars, she hates them. <laughs> Don't pray to be related to her because you will not get shishi from her. So, well, let me play, guys. The video so you hear for yourself and then i'll tell you my own very last thoughts okay all right sending money back home or to your extended family is such a common african practice that i that i absolutely hate i, I saw my dad doing it and i don't even know any of my extended family i saw him doing it with his brothers with his sisters with his Grand parents, parents, like everyone in the family, as long as you have a job, they expect you to share that money accordingly. And that's just something, I will not be participating in I already knew I would never participate in this. Like, how do you come and tell me, oh, my kids are starving? Yeah, they're starving because you're fucking lazy. Get off your ass, get a job, and feed your kids. And also, there's this, um, one, there's this one, like, extended family member of ours. And she used to ask my dad for money, and she texted me, and she asked me for money. You've been asking my dad for money since before I was born. I was born, I was raised, I grew up, now you're asking me for money. You lazy son of a bitch. I am not feeding your habits. I'm not feeding you. You're too, you're too lazy to be alive. I will let you starve. What the fuck? You are too lazy to be alive, meaning that it's better you drop dead. Man, she went too far. You see, um, it, it has gotten to a level that Africans have to start having everything. Because let me tell you, not everybody abroad is comfortable just giving out money every month. Though you might be thinking that you are the only one requesting for money from that your uncle, auntie, or cousin, or brother, or sister. You are not the only one. There are many more family members requesting for money from just one person abroad. So you see why at a point, people abroad will start breaking down. Eh? You, let me tell you, for each day they send money back home to you, they are not happy about it. It pains them because they have gotten their salary, they have planned on what to do with it. Suddenly, phone calls will start coming from different angles. Auntie, uncle, cousin, friends, different kind of family members and really extended everything, calling. The person is like, ah, look at this money I've planned that I'm saving, I'll use and buy land or buy this or buy that. And now I'm going to divide it to all these people. Forgetting that in abroad, the hustle is real. They pay bills monthly. Light, water, gas, name it all. They feed, they transport, they pay for their house rent. Everything is monthly. Hmm? But back home, it's not really like that. So you you are you are you are intruding into their finance. They don't like it. That's all the truth. They don't really like it. You are not the only one. You guys are many sucking from one person milking one person abroad tell me why that person will not break down the person will break down most of the times the calls will come they will refuse to pick it because they already know what the call will be all about especially they already know each and every one of you when you call they already know what you want they already always know that it's all about problem once you call you start dishing out problem problem how hard the country is how hunger is about to kill you you have not paid rent you have not paid student school fees your business is going down you need money to stock it up you know you are not feeling fine you need money to buy medicine or go to the hospital for a checkup they know that they know the particular ones that they are calling all about money nothing else so that's why you see sometimes you will call and call and call and call and call they will never pick your call they will not pick it because they are even angry the moment they see your call, they'll be like, it's not about money. It's not why she's calling. It's not why he's calling. They don't like seeing that for African phone numbers calling them. Because they know the end result. They love those people who will call them to gist with them. To tell them things about home. What is happening home? What about Uncle James, Uncle this, Auntie that? What about that, my cousin? You know, they love gist. Give them gist. They want to connect, they want to be current with things happening back home, but they don't get it. Most of the times, they want to discuss things like that with you, but the next thing, you start pouring out problems to them. You end the conversation with, please, I need help. Or, <clears throat> in the early stage of the conversation, you're afraid to start pouring out your request. Even when they tell you that they don't really have the money, you think they're lying. 
They don't have it because them to have plans for themselves. They have projects going on. So do you expect that they should take all the money they have planned for their project and give to you? And when they don't give to people back home, people back home start calling them stingy, wicked, idiot. If you're a guy, they'll say girls are the ones milking you over there. You are spending your money on prostitutes. That's why you don't have money. Every time they'll call you, I don't have, I don't have. <laughs> they say you are, you, are, you are clubbing out your life over there. Pursuing women. That's why you don't have money. Then if you're a lady, they say eh, men are milking her now over there. Men are, men are sucking her money. She's just busy dashing her money to that her husband, to her, that her boyfriend. They don't really know that it's not like that. People are brought to have needs. They have to save for the dry season too because if you lose your job, the reality is real because hardly you find people that will borrow you money or even gift you money abroad. Hardly. So abroad is like you're on your own. You better save for unseen events that might be for you. You see? So... People abroad need loyal people back home. Just the secret is try when you call, call even if you want to request for money, make it once in five months or four months. And when you're requesting, make it moderate. Make it moderate, not huge, huge sum of money you keep requesting. That person abroad is not your central bank. They are really, you don't understand it until you come abroad, you feel the pains too that them too they are feeling. Forget that they are building house, doing this, doing that. Definitely, they have to do it for themselves. Mm? So people abroad, if you have a uh, hundred uh, dollar or euro to to uh, maybe with you, you want to help people back home. You can spend only twenty and keep eighty for yourself. Yes, spend twenty dollar or euro on them and save eighty for yourself. Because if you come back home poor, because you want to form the nice guy, the nice girl, eh? you want your family members to call you good person so that they will not be insulting you. You know, then you're dishing out money to them. The day you come back home empty. <laughs> you see when war broke out in Ukraine, many of them came back home empty. Now they are receiving the insult and uh, the disgrace, the shame. They are, they are receiving it back to back because they don't they did not invest anything. They were busy helping friends and family. Now war broke out, they came back empty. The same people they are helping are now rubbishing them. So that is why you have to invest for yourself while you are in abroad because you can't tell when you'll be returning home. So that these same people that you are thinking that you are helping them that will call you a good person. When you still come back empty and poor, they will start avoiding you like virus. Like someone that is contaminated with one dangerous virus. When you even call them, they will not even pick. You are in that same country now with them. You call them, they will not pick. They are not avoiding you because you are not useless to them. They will put their tentacles on another person abroad, on another of their relation abroad. Hmm? So, you see, you, you, are, you are not the only one they are milking on. They are calling other people. If there are 10 that are good in requesting for money from your family, 10 are milking you, making the next person, next making the next person. They just put their antenna. Eh? They are, what they call it, probos, is that stuff, mosquito is in sucking blood. They just connect it on you. <laughs> eh? To milk you. Once they see that you are useless, you are no longer relevant, they drop you. Even when you lose your job abroad, they know that that one is finished. They go to the next person. Then you are thinking that without you, that they will not survive. Who told you? Before you came abroad, eh? let's say you came abroad five years ago or ten years ago. Before you came abroad, were, were you not in that country with them? Were they not surviving? They were surviving. Let me tell you, most of the times, it's not that they are very poor. They just want money. So every time they just say, hmm, oh man, I'm lacking money, my finance is going down. They remember, they say like, okay, I have four people abroad, I have to call now to milk them. Including friends, so they milk even their friends. You know? So they will just call. They gamble it. They'll be like, by the time I call these five people, definitely money will show from one of them or two or three. You see? But you might be thinking that you are the only one. But sometimes if you have other family members, they will tell you that, ah, the same people are still calling me on. The same people are calling me, asking for help, for money for this, money for that. They are dying, you know. They are dying, you know. Meanwhile, sometimes when you even go back home, you see that these people are really enjoying more than you, eating good food. You know? You see, they tend to carry all their problems and put on you. They expect that now you are in abroad, you must carry their load, which is not good. Which is not good. Some of them just put all their problem on you 100%. 
paying off rent, school fees, bills, medicals, every damn thing, they put it on you. You open a business for them, they reckless the business. The business falls, doesn't grow. Because you know why? It's not their money. It's not their money. Tell me why you won't be disappointed. They are not productive. Always wanting you to send money so that they can spend. I know that poverty is there. But during the election, this is why uh, they should uh, buckle up to voting the right people in their country to be in power. The right people will make changes and make life better for them. Not taking bribe and voting in the wrong people. Hmm? You don't allow the, even the real people that want to come out and vote for the right person. You guys scare them away. Threaten them not to come out or else you finish them up. Now, the wrong people are in government. Everybody is suffering the consequences. So you see, the thing is this. People are abroad. They want to connect back home. If you can be that one person that will be sincere and outstanding, truthful and loyal, loyalty is key. Don't lie to people abroad though, because the moment they detect that you're a liar, you lie to them a lot, you have misled them several times, they cut off from you completely. Most people abroad have fallen victims of people, like people back home have, have really dealt with them. In terms of, you want to buy land, you want to build, they squander your money. Use substandard materials and build your house. Buy your land in a useless location. A land that will cost 1000 they will inflate the price to 3000 Extorting from you. So people abroad, they don't like it. Once they dictate that bad character in you, they cut out completely and block you. They cut out. Because they have found out that you are cheating them seriously. And that's why you see most of them will prefer to come back home and do their investment themselves. Because they have lost money. They thought they could trust Mr. A, Mrs. B, blah, blah, blah. They all failed. Eh? Stole their money. Lied to them. So that's why they will prefer to come back and manage their projects themselves. It's now like a tradition. The moment you travel abroad, the same people you call friends and family will start looking like enemies to you. Sincerity is no longer there. To them back home, you are rich. What is there if we take small from you? And they don't even care. Some of them will not even build the house for you. Some of them will not even buy the land. They will lie to you that government have taken the land, the villagers have retaken the land, blah, blah, blah. Some of them will use your money and build house for themselves. Some of them will build rubbish rubbish for you local materials when you come back you'll be so ashamed some of them you save money in the account they will use the money and do business you squander the money and then lie to you that okay don't worry i'll pay you back when will you pay me back all those millions you're not even working how will you pay back they'll squander the money you see that's why people abroad block many they have blocked many people Go to their WhatsApp. Most 90% of the numbers they block are family members. <laughs> they block many. Those are people they have seen that are like, are like pests. They are not truthful. They are not sincere. Why many that even call, they hardly pick their calls. You will call and call and call and call and call. They are seeing your calls. So each time they see your call, they'll be like, rubbish. This one is calling me for money. I already know. It's money, nothing else. Then the next thing they'll see voice messages will start dropping because the people at home have known that you don't speak their call. They'll start dropping you voice messages, writing you messages, both in direct, direct message or WhatsApp message. They will write you everywhere on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, on WhatsApp. They will write you. They, they follow you up everywhere. Hmm? Telling you, please, I want to speak to you. It's urgent. It's urgent. When you pick that urgent, it's money. They drop you voice message once you listen to it <laughs> your mood will change that day yes okay you guys at home don't know that when people abroad finish answering your call their moods will change they get more angry they'll start grumbling anger they're like look at this one asking me for money yeah it never asks me if i've eaten it never asks me if i'm okay health wise it never asks me if i've paid all my bills it's just throwing his own request of 500 send it to me i need help they just see you like a bank that the money is ready the money is always there bring it 
Because they see that you are doing one or two projects back home, so they feel that you have enough. Why won't you invest for yourself? You have to invest for yourself if you're in abroad. Invest for yourself because you never can tell what will happen tomorrow in that country where you are. People in Ukraine that went back home, they are suffering now. They never invested. Don't come back home as a failure after 10, 20 years of living abroad or 30. You'll be considered as a total failure. You have to have your house, have uh, lands, build shops, have a business you have opened for yourself to manage as a retirement plan. Unless you want to live and grow, get old abroad and die in abroad and be buried in abroad. But at least everybody abroad must have retirement plan. Maybe you are like, when I get to 50 years or 60 years, I'll retire back home, open a nice business and be managing it. Since I already have citizenship or permanent residence, I'll be, I can be coming abroad, taking uh, medicals, you know, checking up myself health-wise and then go back. But then you have your children who are in abroad doing business, working or whatever. So you can be coming, do your health checkup and go back. Hmm? So you see, people are, are, are back home. Just know that if you are loyal and truthful and sincere, people abroad will use you to carry out a lot of their projects. They will trust in you. They will know that you don't cheat on them. When you buy something and they change money is remaining, you tell them, ah, uh, you gave me 1,000 to buy this and that. There is a change remaining now, about 300. They will be like, wow, this one is sincere. Before you know, they can just tell you, you can take it. I dash you. I give to you. Just take it. They're like, wow, thank you, thank you. They gave you that money not because they, they have seen sincerity in you. They just like sincere people. If you are sincere, they will use you and build their house, buy land, invest in many property and businesses. That is you they will, they will use because they have seen how truthful you are, how loyal you are. If you can maintain it for life, a lot of your friends and family members back home will keep using you to execute projects, to buy land, to do a lot of things because they have trust you so much. There are some documents they will need back home. It is you they will call. Please help me. I'll be sending you money. Run the, run the show for me. And after that, they have money to always give to you and say, thank you. Take it for what you have done. Always be truthful to them. When you do something for them and the change is remaining, money is remaining out of that thing, tell them, I've finished. Oh, look at what is remaining. I've done this. Look at what is remaining. Be truthful to them. You will enjoy them. You will enjoy them naturally. That's reality. Because they don't want, they don't like traveling, spare, buying tickets, lodging in hotel, blah, blah. They spend a lot. So they're like, if I can find only one sincere person, I'll use that person to execute all my project. And that person will enjoy from me too. They will even help you pay your rent, pay, do a lot of things for you too, in return for appreciation. You know? And before you know it, if you are that kind of loyal person, truthful and sincere, other people will be like, you are using charm on them. You have used charm to corner their mind, to focus only on you. No, it's not true. The charm you use is the charm of um, loyalty, truthfulness, sincerity, openness. That's the only charm you use and make them love you. It's not a charm that you went to a native doctor, Babalao, to say, do this kind of juju for me. It's just sincerity and truthfulness. So, well, in summary, please, people back home, ask in moderation once in five months and make it moderate, please. Not huge amount of money. People abroad too are suffering. Not all of them are rich. Hmm? And people abroad, you can equally help your family members back home because you know how poor they are. Some of them spent money taking you abroad or schooling you. So, if you know that, that, that thing that you are comfortable with in giving them, give to them. Because no one knows tomorrow, you know. So help them, but not in excess as well. You know? Make them go learn a trade. Let them go learn a trade. Give them money to go and learn that trade. When they master it after one year or two years, then you can give them money to start up their own. But giving them, giving them monthly does not make sense. You're equally spoiling them. Or you want to answer the good person. <laughs> uh, you answer the good person, no. but at the end, you might be a failure at the end of the day because you have nothing to invest for yourself. You just want to make them feel that you are the best among the rest of your family members abroad. Do they care? All they want is just your money. So it's true that they need help. Help them in the little way you can. Help them. Because the reality of poverty there is real. 
help them. Mm? Show love to them, but also show love to yourself more. 